Hi, this is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem. Today, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes and talk to you about my Ram Rebel. I have a 2021 Ram Rebel, and I think it's a gorgeous truck. Let me tell you, when I bought this truck, I was so excited. The fit and finish, everything is just beautiful on this truck. It's a fantastic truck, but there's one problem with it, and that is this right here. And I don't care what anybody says, that 5.7 Hemi has issues. And I'll tell you my story and my experience. I, uh, about a month ago, I walked out to my truck. I went to start it and I had a check engine light, which was flashing. Now I've got 40,000 miles on this truck and I am anal about the maintenance because I had heard about this Hemi tick issue and all this cam failure situation. I'll tell you, I don't have the e-torque on this. It's just the standard engine. It does have the uh, uh, engine EMS or whatever they call it, the engine management system where it cuts off the valves. And, but I was very careful about that. I would run it in tow haul mode. Didn't, didn't you know, allow that to happen a, a whole lot. When I first got the truck at 500 miles, I did an oil change on it, which was probably overkill, but I was being anal because I was concerned about that very issue. Um, I've got 50 hours of idle time. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm gonna show you guys right now. Hopefully you guys can see this. At the time of the incident, I had 50 hours of idle time, a total of a thousand hours of drive time on this engine. So it's not like I sat around and idled this engine at all. This, this thing was well taken care of. Anyhow, I did an oil change at about 500 miles and then every time thereafter, uh, no, no more than 4,000 miles, I did an oil change and I'd usually let the oil get to about 50%, maybe a little less than that when I did the oil change because of my concern with this Hemi tick issue. So I walk out to the truck, I go to start it, I get a check engine light. Isn't it a beautiful truck? It is a pretty truck. I get a check engine light and it's a flashing check engine light, so I know that, hey, I probably shouldn't drive this thing. I threw a code reader on it, and immediately it said it showed a P307 code, which is a misfire on cylinder seven. So I'm like, wow, uh, this is not good. So I called AAA. They towed it into the local Chrysler dealer, and I waited. And I didn't hear anything from them for a couple days, so then I called. And my service advisor, I said, hey, uh, what's going on with my truck? And he said, he just simply said, you're getting a new motor. And I said, what? And he's like, yep, you're getting a new motor. Um, uh, they're, they found metal in the engine, metal debris in the engine. So I'm like, what the hell? So anyhow, long story short, I get a new motor. And uh, I asked him at that time, I said, hey, what's the, what's the story on this? Does it, do you see this happen much on these trucks? And he told me, oh, not on the new ones. No, I haven't really seen it that much. Now, this was the first thing he told me when I went into the dealership. Well, when I, when I called him back or when I saw him the second time, I asked him that same question. And he says, oh, heck yeah, it's a Hemi, isn't it? So that obviously didn't instill a bunch of confidence in me. So I love this truck but I hate this truck and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about it. I mean, it's a $60,000 truck at the time when I bought it in 2021. Um, again, I am going to show you what they said on the service thing. I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'll put that up right now. All right. So as I promised, here is the invoice of what was done to my truck. So it's clear that the lifters failed on this thing. I'll leave it right there. I'll also take a picture of it for you. But this is basically the invoice and what's happened. And um, needless to say, I'm lacking a little confidence in Ram products or Chrysler. Should have bought a Toyota. Oh, wait, I had a Toyota. Out of the frying pan into the fire, I guess, right? Now that you've seen that, you know exactly what happened. There, was a, there actually was a cam lobe failure on... Uh, uh, the number seven uh, lifter, uh, one of the lifters on cylinder seven, and uh, metal went down into the engine, destroyed the motor. So at 40,000 miles, 
I was running Penn's oil, uh, ultra platinum and platinum oil in it. And I don't, I'm not necessarily a fan of Penn's oil, but, um, I, it was recommended that I run that by the dealership. And so anyhow, that's kind of where I'm at with this truck right now. I'm, I'm really bummed. So I got a brand new engine at 40,000 miles. I've already put about 2000 miles on this new engine and, uh, it always makes noise in the morning, rattles, the lifters rattle. They make that hemi tick noise or whatever. I haven't had any issues with exhaust manifolds, but this truck is very frustrating. I wish I would have bought a Toyota, really, honestly. I'm not anti-Dodge, so don't beat me up in the comments, but the reality of it is, is how can you trust a truck that's having all these issues? I mean, really, this is insanity. To have a truck that's 60,000 bucks that you pay for, I expected this to be my retirement truck. Shame on you, Dodge, for, and they're aware of this issue. Don't, uh, it, it was even in the, in the notes of the, uh, of the documentation that I got from the dealership, it said per TSB. So it's a, it's a technical service bulletin that's out already on this, on this engine. So they have, the way the engine is designed, it's poorly designed. Um, I have no complaints about the fit and finish on the truck. So far, it's been a great truck other than just the engine blowing up. So this truck, as far as I'm concerned, I want nothing to do with it. But what am I going to do? I'm halfway into the payments now and, and uh, I'm, I'm going to have to keep it. So let me know in the comments below. Don't beat me up. I've had Fords. I've had Chevys. I've had, well, I had a Ram now. But uh, I never, I will never buy another ram product again because of this reason i will never do it and you guys you ram lovers out there you can beat me up all you want but i would never buy another one of these trucks again in fact i'm really reluctant to keep this one just because of the issues that it's having so let me know what you guys think let me know if there's anything that you know that will prevent this i know they talk about putting a different oil pump in all this stuff which I think is ridiculous in this in the sense that why should you have to do that on a brand new freaking truck let me know in the comments don't forget to like share subscribe hit that bell for notifications check us out at instagram at man cave underscore mayhem there's going to be more videos to come a lot more motorcycle stuff i got a new ct125 that i'm going to show you soon here working on some videos for that and just remember folks i'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem thanks again for watching